How's it going guys? Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick video, uh, sort of HP Tuners update number two. Been doing some data logging for Mike at Vengeance. Sent him over the logs and he sent me back my second tune. This one's pretty much as good as it's going to get, he said. He said we were a little rich up top and uh, he added a little more spark to the bottom. But other than that, that's uh, where we were at with that. He said the only way we're going to get closer is if I get AFR, which I'm not going to do for this one. While this is doing its whole download process, I'll go over the updates for the rest of the car because we did have a couple changes. But pretty much today's video, we're going to be just going over how to actually put a tune into HB tuners and uh, have it flash to your car. So I got the computer hooked up so you're actually able to see the screen today and hopefully that makes it a little easier for everybody. So let me get that plugged in and we'll start up. All right guys, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the laptop already turned on, everything's good to go there. You plug in your MPVI or MPVI2 to the USB port and then you'll plug it into the car itself. So once you have it plugged in, you're going to hold the start stop button for about 10 seconds. That's going to put it into maintenance mode. If you just tap it, actually you just heard it right there. If you just tap it, what's going to end up happening is it's going to put you into like the accessory mode and go into that accessory mode potentially the car could shut off before you're done hitting the tune and then it could really screw up your computers. So make sure you hold that button down. You'll hear the little pings, everything like that. That means the car is in sort of like a maintenance mode where the system will stay on for a longer period of time. All right guys, so as you can see here, I got everything uh, that I've previously done between data logs, the prior tune, and this is the new tune. So I'm gonna click on this and what it's gonna do is load up um, HP Tuner's VCM editor. And when it loads that up, um, we'll be able to write it to the vehicle. It's a pretty simple process, but if it's your first time, I could obviously understand that you're going to be nervous. I was for sure the first time I did it, so. Um, that's why it's really important to make sure that you do that, uh, you know, full maintain mode or maintenance mode. You don't want to be stuck in the other one, which I've done before too. Um, that's why I want to make sure I preach that because I don't want to see anything happen to anybody. I got lucky. So now we're going to be writing the vehicle. Um, you're going to see that it's looking for my VIN. And then it's got everything here. And then you're just going to hit write. So from here, it's going to go and it's going to start writing everything. The car is going to start making noise, as you can hear right now. It's downloading all those, um, or I'm sorry, erasing all of the old calibrations and installing the new one so it's going to take a couple minutes so from here i'm going to go into an update while this works so a little bit of update on the build right now um i know the big plan was to do pretty much all the bolt-ons and i've been waiting on that rcr intake for a while uh, i ordered that back in late may early june i believe and uh still waiting on it told me it was expected around this time but with a couple different things going on i've actually decided to go a different route um and it's going to be a better route for the channel for sure, uh, a lot bigger of a build, but it's going to be a little bit farther down the road. So I leave Hawaii in July and I'm anticipating to do this at the next base. So it'll be worth the wait though, but it's going to be a little bit on that. For now, I'm going to be doing different other things. What do we move into? Sorry. Uh, moved into the transmission. So we're moving into the transmission. But um, yeah, so I plan on doing a couple other different things continuing to do the uh, car shows and stuff like that. I have some other different modifications I want to do to the exterior. And then also, I really want to get to an SCCA day, but they don't start up till February here. So I'm going to try to get Sang and my other buddy with the WRX and uh, my other buddy that came on the channel before with the Golf R. I want to see where this meets up with those. And let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I think that this is going to be able to keep up with at least the WRX uh, the all-wheel drive, or the, the bigger all-wheel drive cars, I should say, you know, the STI and the Golf R might have a good enough power to wait that they can um, they can keep up. But it'll be cool to see. So we'll see exactly once that happens. But yeah, um, that I'm hoping to do, like I said, first few weeks of February. Um, but I will continue to sporadically put things in. It's just going to be a little slow once I'm, you know, during this sort of downtime of Christmas and whatnot. But we'll definitely get it up there. So now it just moved into the fuel system, as you can hear. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure, remained blank throughout the entire time I wasted the extra 50 bucks. Um, but just so you know, for future reference, when you buy your credits from HP Tuners, you don't usually need to buy the FSCM, which is fuel system, con 
something, I think. I don't remember. Uh, most of the time, you don't need to modify that one. So talk with your tuner before you pay the credits for that one. Chances are that they're just mod modifying the ECM and the TCM, which will save you 50 bucks right there. So it just completed that. Um, I'm gonna throw us back over to that screen to show you where we're at. All right, so as you can see here, the uh, right has been completed. So we're just gonna hit close out of that. And as simple as that was, we are done. Now, if we wanna take a look and make sure everything's good, what we can do here is exit out of this and then go down and reload up a VCM editor, or a scanner, I'm sorry. And we can sort of run another log based off of that. So let me get that loaded up. Shouldn't take too long. So while VCM scanner is loading, just wanted to give you guys another quick update regarding the channel itself and the subscriber giveaway. Still doing that 500 subscriber giveaway, so please be sure that you're subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying the content, and then go into the link of any of the videos and fill out the form there. It's pretty much just going to confirm that you are doing or that you are a subscriber, and then also it gives you the option to sort of write down what you feel I, I do best in the channel or what you want to see in the channel. What is that noise? Do you guys hear that? There's some crazy noise. I'm wondering if it's the laptop or not. Things sketchy as all hell. Anyways, um, the channel update will pretty much just, I'm gonna look at that and you know, if you say, oh, I like seeing the install videos, I'm gonna try to do more install videos. If you like saying I like seeing the car shows, I'm gonna try to do more of that. You know, this channel is not just mine. Uh, I, I am the content creator and I like doing this for that, but this is, you know, for you guys, I want to broaden the outreach of the SS. I want to expand upon the car community. So please hit that subscribe button and enter for that giveaway so that I know you're one of the first 500. Uh, the prizes, both members are going to see, or both winners are going to see um, shirts coming their way. And then the other, like the main prize winner is going to be getting a uh, something from my like usual detail routine so i'm thinking it'll definitely either be my chemical guys or adam's polishes because that's all i really use um i want it to be something exterior like maybe wax maybe ceramic coat not sure i guess you're gonna have to find out uh when you hit that subscribe button and see who wins so hit that subscribe button vcm scanner's taking forever but once it loads up i'll send us right over to that screen all right, so a VCM standard doesn't want to work. I'm just putting the laptop away. I'm gonna just start the car without it. It's something you don't need to do. You don't need to go into VCM scanner afterwards. I just wanted to see if uh, you know I could see anything unusual when I started the car for the first time. But I'm pretty confident everything's gonna be fine. We just did a couple minor tweaks, so I'm just gonna get you guys set up behind the car. We're gonna start it, and that should be about it for the day. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up for me. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. Uh, I have to cut out real quick, go over to the grocery store before it closes, and I got to go get the you know Christmas Eve dinner stuff. So hope you all have a great Christmas. Hopefully I get some car parts for Christmas, and you do too. Have a good one.